When working on or around your starter motor, always disconnect your battery. This picture illustrates the right side of the trunk with the interior panel already removed. Loosen the negative battery cable fastener, green arrow, and remove the negative battery cable from the battery. This picture illustrates underneath the car on the right side of the engine, looking up at the starter motor heat shield. Remove the three 10 millimeter fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, remove the front 10 millimeter heat shield fastener. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, remove the upper rear 10 millimeter heat shield fastener. Once all the fasteners are removed, pull the heat shield down and away from the starter. This photo shows the starter motor, red arrow, the solenoid, yellow arrow. Remove the 13 millimeter fastener as indicated by the green arrow on the starter solenoid. You can use a 13 millimeter wrench or socket with ratchet to remove this fastener. Here I am using a wrench. Remove the positive battery cable, red arrow, from the stud on the starter motor. I will remove the starter signal wire, yellow arrow, once the starter bolts are removed. This allows me to slightly rotate the starter motor to access this fastener. The lower fastener is tough to get to. I find it easiest to go through the exhaust as shown here. Use a 10 millimeter Allen head socket with an extension and ratchet, remove the Allen fastener. The upper fastener is also in a tight spot. Using a 10 millimeter Allen head socket with a swivel extension and ratchet, remove the Allen head fastener. Reposition the starter slightly Rotate it in a clockwise direction so you have access to the starter solenoid A terminal. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the A terminal fastener and wire. Pull the starter motor from the engine compartment in the direction of the green arrow. You do not need to remove the center link, idler arm, tie rod end, or steering dampener, but it does make access to the starter much easier. I only remove the components for photographic purposes. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedures. Position the starter in the engine block and start by tightening the smaller starter solenoid A terminal. Fit the starter into the block and tighten down the two fasteners. Fit the positive battery cable on the starter solenoid lug and tighten the fastener. Install the heat shield and tighten the three fasteners. Attach the negative battery terminal and verify the engine cranks with the ignition key in the start position. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.